So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best exercises for meniscal tear rehabilitation. So I'm going to be showing kind of some intermediate, some beginners, some a little bit more advanced. So we're going to start off with some of the beginner stuff. So this would be within, even within the first week of something happening with one of your meniscals. So a meniscus, I'm just going to pretend it's my right knee. So if I had torn this knee, we're going to be having some swelling and quite a bit of discomfort. So very basic things is even just movement of the knee, even if you can just contract the quad, contract the hamstrings just to help to try to get more movement towards the knee. We also recommend even if you love, if you're a swimmer, you love swimming, get in the pool. You still need to work out, but put a pole boy between your knees and just use your upper body. There are ways to still continue to do your sports even with an injury, even moving the upper body, working on the core, things like that is going to help with blood and circulation, which in the long run does really help out with a tear that we do have. So first exercise that I'm going to be showing you is I'm going to grab a towel and I'm going to put it underneath my knee. Now notice I'm just using it as kind of a, a support. It's not going to be up so high that I'm going to be working out my quad muscle. My goal for this is just to provide comfort. Now, if you're already able to straighten your knee out, this might not be something you need. If you're still within the first seven to 10 days, this will obviously feel a little bit more comfortable for you. So what you're going to be doing is contracting the quad and relaxing the quad. Contract and relaxing. So for this, we're going to be doing 10 reps of this. So I want you to follow along with me. So get yourself all set up. And let's get started for 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our next exercise that I'm going to be doing is a heel slide. So for that, uh, if you have a hardwood or linoleum surface, grab yourself a towel. If you have a carpeted surface, paper plate, plastic plate, anything like that will help for you to slide. So what you're going to do is lay back down with your foot on top of the towel and you're going to be bringing the towel into your bum with your heel and then straightening it back out for a set of one and then bring it back in and out for a set of two. So for this, we're going to be doing 10 reps. Okay. All right. Get yourself situated. Let's get started. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So next up, I'm going to be doing a prone knee extension. So for this, I want you to grab yourself either a foam roller or a towel roll, uh, anything that's going to be able to prop your leg up just a little bit more. Now prone means laying on our stomach. So we're going to go on our stomach, you're going to take the affected knee and you're going to put your shin all the way up to your ankle onto either a foam roller or towel, anything stacked up nice and high, you're going to lay down and all you're doing is extending the knee and straightening it out and then back down and extend back down. All right, so we're going to be doing 10 reps of this. All right, let's get started. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
10. All right, I want you to find yourself a comfortable place. We're gonna go on our backs and we're gonna go into our glute bridges. So we started off kind of some uh, beginner, a little bit intermediate of different exercises for the knee. And now we're going a little bit more advanced. So now knee pain is starting to decrease. You're noticing range of motion is coming in good. Now we really want to get into some strengthening. So for that is glute bridges. These are all around phenomenal exercise. These are great things to incorporate to get that meniscal tear back healing. All right, so nice and comfy. I like to put my heels, touch them with my fingertips. And then we're going to drive up through our hips and back down for a set of one, and we're gonna be doing 10 reps of this. Follow along, let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. really important when it comes to your meniscal injury recovery is going to be your squats. Squats are overall a phenomenal exercise. These are really great to do incorporating them into your strengthening, especially in the later stages. Now, when you first get in back into your workout, you want to get back into the gym or do things at home, squats are a great thing to start to do, but in with, within your pain ranges of motion. So what that means is this might be how you start is this deep, and back up. So this is where we're going to start today. Nice and short, and we're not going too deep. You're staying within your pain ranges of motion. So we're going to start off 10 reps. Okay, so feet, shoulder, sorry, uh, hip width apart, toes pointing forward. I want you to also kind of watch your knee and watch how it tracks. Now, we don't want our knee to go out and flare uh, down, or we don't want our knee to come in and go knock knee. So our goal is try to keep our knees in a straight line. So I want you to watch your knees as you're doing it. And we're not going to be bent over looking down, but I want you to kind of think of your peripherals and just kind of glance down and see where your knees are located. And then come back up. Or another great thing is having a mirror beside you or a mirror in front of you. So you can actually watch your knees to see the way that they're tracking. All right, so we're going to do 10 reps of this. So just nice little shallow squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. things are starting to feel a little bit more fluid you can go a little bit deeper so now we're going to go into our next step which is going to be a lower squat so feet are going to be hip distance apart toes facing forward again I want you to focus on the track that your knees are on make sure they're not coming in make sure they're not going out make sure one's not going out the other one's going out I want you to really watch your knees to make sure that they're going in a straight line so again mirror in front of you mirror beside you things like that or having somebody just assist you can actually help with this. So we're going to be going lower. Our goal is to go parallel to the ground. So we, I want to see the quads parallel to where the ground is and then come back up for a set of one. We're going to be doing 10 reps. All right. So if you're coming with me, let's get going. One.
10. So when those start to become a little bit easier, that's when you're going to increase the weight. So either weights and hands, you can do a suitcase deadlift, which is where you have the weights to the side of you, standing up that way, barbell on your back, weights are on your back. So just increasing weight. Then when that becomes easier, you want to go into single legs. So before we did the glute bridge, single leg glute bridges, single leg glute bridges with weights, squats with weights, and then we go into single leg squats. You could do a Bulgarian split squat where one leg is behind you. You could do TRX. So the rope that's attached to hold onto the handles, you're actually able to go into a squat with one leg and then back up with having that support with you. So you want to start with two legs, progress to weights, progress to just doing single leg. That'll really help to strengthen up for that knee and that meniscus.